Hello guys, this is Elias from SEO Autopilot and today I'm so excited to present to you our brand new software that it's called Action Link. Action Link is a link profile checker that uh, will help you analyze and visualize all important information from um, sources like Google Search Console or uh, Ahrefs or uh, SEMRAS or even upload your own uh, CSV file with your backlinks uh, inside. And Action Link will uh, actually um, visualize those uh, informations that, uh, that are vital to your SEO rankings. So, with that being said, um, let us uh, open the application. I am on a Mac, so I will go to Applications and open the Action Link Profile Analyzer. Now, <clears throat> this is our first screen. So what do we need to do? It's to create a new project. Here we uh, input the name of our website. And now the software will um, uh, ask us to upload a CSV or a TXT file. So what we do now is to go to our uh, Google Search Console, uh, select our uh, website, our asset, go to links, export external links, and select latest links. Uh, we're going to dial download a CSV file. This is great. We select so in folder, and then we'll, we just uh, drop the selected file inside the project. Um, now assume that uh, we had uh, exported a file from Ahrefs with uh, our backlinks, or uh, we had a custom uh, CSV file, or an SE Autopilot uh, report. So with uh, the same um, the same matter, we could just drag and drop the CSV inside the, the project. So we click now save and start crawling. Okay, so as you may see, it is um, being done in uh, real time. Okay, so the crawlers um, analyzes the CSV file, visits each uh, website that exists inside the CSV file, and gathers all necessary information. It is super fast. Okay, crawl finished in uh, 24 seconds. So, uh, this is our main um, dashboard. So, it says that we got 135 external links, uh, of uh, those uh, 124 are working and we have 11 uh, broken external links. So let's see a little bit uh, the information that uh, we got here. Only from a CSV from Google Search Console. You can see all the data are uh, presented in a very, very um, nice and easy to understand way. Okay. So we see that those 135 external links um, are come from uh, 46 referring domains. Uh, there are 184 backlinks. So the referring domains to backlink ratio is 0 0.25, which is way, way uh, low. Um, you need to have a referring domains to backlink ratio as close as one. So referring pages are 106 and referring pages to backlink ratio is 0 0.58. So uh, here is the backlink summary that uh, tells us the backlink types that, <clears throat> that the specific uh, website has. Okay, so Anchor Keywords takes the 69.9% of our overall SEO uh, strategy and SEO link profile. 16% are plain URLs, which is very, very nice. The domain as anchor are 11.8%. Uh, so in that way, 
you have an immediate uh, image of uh, how your link profile is. So 69.9% anchor keywords means that you are a little bit over optimized. So you have to dilute your link profile. Um, I would prefer to, in this specific case, to add videos or images and stuff like this in order to dilute my link profile. Um, now here, the backlink relation, the follow and no follow, you see, uh, because it is the first crawl of the specific project, we have only one line. When you redo the project, for example, uh, every week or uh, each month, uh, it will be formed here a line or a diagram, a chart, more to be more specific, it will uh, create a chart so you can see uh, according to the date uh, your uh, ratio of follow and no follow. Here is the TLD distribution. Dot com domains are uh, dominant here. So if you see um, uh, TLD that it is um, not so popular, you can just disavow it or ignore it or something like this. So from all my keywords, this is the keyword summary, all my keywords, 26 keywords are bold, 23 are italic. Uh, I got two primary keywords on uh, uh, headings, on um, eight tags. And keywords uh, on, uh, on headings are 41. This is our keyword positioning. Uh, in header, in, inside an article, on navigation bar, on footer, or on header. Um, this is the keyword length, one, two, or three, or four, or five uh, word keywords. Uh, this is the keyword cloud. You see, this is our uh, targeted keyword, our primary keyword, so um, it is a little bit over-optimized according to this information. And now we have two sections. First one is per backlink metric. And the other one is per keyword metric. Let's see, it's one of them. Uh, this is our main keyword. So it, it um, has been found 61 times, 36 um, referring domains. This is the uh, backlink to referring domains to black backlink ratio. It's good, it's 0 0.6 almost. 36 referring pages. This is the referring pages to backlinks ratio and referring IPs uh, 15. So, and here we have some attributes, bold, italic, or H3. And of course we can uh, sort them out. Now, if I click on uh, this specific URL, it will take me to the dashboard of the specific URL. So I can see all the information concerning this specific URL. Okay, so I know that I got 36 referring domains. According to our RD100 strategy, it has to be at least 100 in order to start uh, performing uh, better or best on uh, search engines. Um, the follower of follow, 33 uh, of uh, those backlinks are uh, do follow and 28 are no follow. So exactly what uh, this tells us is to increase the do follow links for this specific URL. On the positioning, um, I would prefer to see a couple uh, of backlinks on uh, the header of the article. So the next campaign that I'm going to, to create uh, on SEO Autopilot, I, I will tell the software to create backlinks, some of the backlinks or half of the backlinks on the header. Of course, not on footer um, or on a navigation bar or no, maybe on a navigation bar. However, um, if you see that you got uh, footer links, those are not good. So you have immediately the information that you need to remove those footer links. 
The TLD distribution is very good for uh, the specific URL because we have 56 uh, URLs coming from uh, .com domains. Uh, bold backlinks are two, italic, and backlinks in headings, one. So let's here on the keywords, we see which keywords are associated with the specific URLs. So since our targeted keyword are, is uh, cool men's accessories, we see this keyword 18 times. And all other keywords comes for one, three, or two times. So we can ask ourselves, uh, if we ask ourselves why this URL, why this targeted keyword is not performing well on search engines, the answer is obvious, because it is over-optimized. So what we need to do on our next campaign is to dilute uh, our link profile and stop using uh, this uh, primary keyword uh, on the campaign in order for Google to, to see that uh, all uh, related other keywords are um, gaining um, popularity, okay? This is, this is very, very important. With, with, um, with only just a glance, you will be able to, to determine um, your next strategy, your SEO strategy. So these are the referring pages. Um, we have pagination here. So um, despite the fact that this is a beta, uh, if uh, your website or your client's website has uh, 2,000 referring pages, we are not going to, to make the, you know, the pricing or, or the plans like other software that they let you have only 20 visible uh, referring domains or referring pages. So, and then you have to pay to unlock those, those um, rest results. No, we will have it um, uh, you know, unlimited uh, pages for you. If you have, if your website has one thousand referring pages or one thousand referring domains, you will be able to see all of them, all of them. No hidden hidden text or hidden um, information. All right. Uh, now later on, because. As I told you, this is a beta. Later on, on the referring pages, you, uh, we will add some more information. For example, uh, DA, um, UR, uh, and you know metrics like this, in order for you to um, sort them and be able to to see uh, the quality of your uh, referring pages, the quality of your uh, backlinks. Um, Okay, so let's go back. Very, very useful are the, the um, breadcrumbs here. So we go uh, again on our main dashboard and we will see, we will check now um, the dashboard per keyword metrics. So let's take, for example, this one, bracelets for men. We have our first information here we see that this keyword is present on an H2 tag. Uh, so if uh, we want to rank uh, this keyword, we have to place it only on H1 tag. Okay, but all right. Now, this is the, the um, dashboard for the specific keyword, bracelets for men. It has only five referring domains. So our goal here is to increase those referring domains to 100. Uh, but it has five backlinks. That means that the referring domains to backlink ratio is one, which is perfect. This is the, the perfect ratio. However, the referring domains number and the backlinks number is way too low. Um, again, this is the follow, uh, no follow. It has uh, five do follow links, so we need to um, create some nofollow links also. Um, the keyword positioning is on uh, article. Now, the other can be on a, a bio, uh, on an authority link uh, bio, or on an EDQ um, profile, or it can, it, will be, it, it can be on a profile uh, page, and stuff like this. 
but uh, the article, the, the, the contextual backlink, the contextual link, links are of course more important, so we need to have more links on articles. The TLD distribu distribution is, uh, okay, it's decent. Two comps and two and one on the uh, US. Now, this is a, a very interesting. The headings position. <laughs> you see uh, the uh, cube here. We have a, an, an, an anchor on an H2 tag. So the, our goal now is to create a backlink on the H1 tag. From H1 until H4, in my opinion, is um, the best setup to have your anchors for your primary keywords that you want uh, to rank them. So n none of the keywords are bold or italic. Okay, I remind you that bold means strong, italic uh, means uh, emphasized. So we need to have bold and italic keywords on our articles. Anchor, key anchor keyword in headings, it means on H1 heading, on H1 tag is zero, but we have uh, headings on, on other headings on, and as we see here, it's on H2. And now let's see the, the URLs that they are associated with this keyword. It is the main page and the page that says men's bracelets. Okay because our keyword is bracelets for men. So it's, it is not the exact match keyword. This is men bracelets, but our main keyword is uh, bracelets for men. So uh, what we are looking here is a partial match keyword, not the, the exact match keyword, all right. And these are the, the referring pages that um, action link uh, found this uh, keyword okay, to those specific pages. Um, now, basically, this is the, uh, the software, um, but you need to play with it uh, a lot. You, you can uh, create another project, um, and I think you will find uh, a lot of useful information inside. Um, let's check. Um, for a bit the broken external links. So we see that we have lost a backlink on uh, this website, uh, on all these uh, websites, and this is the reason why. So this is a 404, either the um, page uh, got banned, the URL uh, cut off, or the website stopped, um, stopped working or it is uh, offline. But um, the main thing here is to see which uh, backlinks uh, have failed and replace them. All right, so we, you are able to know uh, all the time that your link profile is, um, is strong, does not have any flaws or um, any broken links that uh, it will cut you from uh, getting the link juice. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, all beta testers uh, will get a huge discount. I believe uh, for the next, uh, for the first three months, but uh, it is something that we are going to discuss uh, further when uh, the time comes. So what we need from you is your truly and honest feedback. Uh, your suggestions of uh, how we can improve Action Link, how you want to, what what you want to see inside this uh, amazing in software, in my opinion, uh, that will make you your you make it will make your SEO life easier, so you all the SEO community can benefit from uh, such a software without paying crazy money like other premium software uh, does. And um, not only this, but they do not have a complete index like uh, Google has. Okay, period. 
they have their own index, index budget. That is why all of those premium uh, websites, premium services, do not um, display the entire link profile of an asset. It displays only the links that they have indexed in, on, uh, on their servers. So uh, if you can leverage the power that uh, Google Search Console gives you by up just uploading uh, CSV on Action Link from Google, um, immediately you, you have uh, information that are served in a very, very simple yet powerful way. Um, of course, after the beta um, ends, I'm going to do a thorough webinar presenting my ideas, presenting my own strategies. Uh, but first, I want to, to hear your valuable opinion. So, in, uh, on behalf of the entire SE Autopilot uh, team, thank you in advance for your time and your efforts of uh, being beta testing uh, for ActionLink. Thank you, guys.